Thank you for joining us. I'm Anna Myler with a WBZ News update. Our top stories early voting for the state primaries begins today and it runs through next Friday. Every community is required to hold in person voting hours so you can find your polling place on the state's website. Today is also the deadline to register to vote in the primaries. You can also cast your ballot in person on primary day, which is September 6th. Firefighters in Plymouth are trying to figure out what started a fire that destroyed a concession stand named for a 9-11 victim. The Jennifer Kane stand was found burned Wednesday morning and everything inside the stand was also destroyed. Officials with Plymouth Youth Baseball and Softball are hoping that donations will help them recover. A home in Watertown is destroyed by fire believed to have been sparked by a lightning bolt during yesterday's severe storm. Fortunately, everyone made it out safely. In other communities, trees were toppled and roads turned to rivers, complicating the evening commute. And now let's get a check of the forecast with meteorologist Sarah Bleski. Sarah, we had those crazy storms yesterday, but thankfully the weekend's looking much calmer. Yeah, big changes. Some areas picked up over an inch of rain. Boston just under a half an inch, but it is quieter out there and we're going to be watching for a mix of sun and clouds. Temperature is mild though and still a little muggy, but we'll notice a drop in humidity through the weekend. Today temperatures no 90s. We're upper 70s, low 80s. Coolest conditions along the immediate coastline with those local sea breezes, but I do expect to see as these clouds bubble up in the afternoon, there may be a stray sprinkle or passing shower, very isolated risk, so I wouldn't cancel any plans. In fact, much of the weekend should be fairly dry and seasonable upper 70s to low 80s both today and tomorrow. One thing that we are going to be tracking though is our chances of rain increasing by midweek and that comes after a string of a few 90 degree days. In fact, temperatures will really heat up Monday and Tuesday, upper 80s to low 90s as well as higher humidity. Then a front comes through with the risk of those showers and storms and then temperatures drop back to where they should be to finish off the week. All right, Sarah, thank you. I'm on a Myler. This has been a WBZ News update. Have a great day.